Look, we've had a very serious problem for years now, and that's that boot dev is hard. We've always said that boot dev is fun, but we've never said that it's easy. See, there are a few ways that other learning platforms or even traditional in-person boot camps make their content easier for students to get through. They add AI assistance, we've done that. Uh, they provide solutions, we've done that. You can update course content based on feedback. We do that hundreds of times a week. And unfortunately, one of the most common things that some in the industry do is just not teach the hard stuff. Frankly, we refuse to do that. Glossing over or skipping hard concepts is what can flood the market with lower skill developers who expect to get jobs that they frankly just aren't qualified for. So we've never even been interested in that. Boot dev takes time and yes, at times the courses are hard, but let's be honest, there's nothing really worth doing in life that's easy. Okay, so what do I mean by hard? Well, it's not like the courses skip stuff or explain it poorly. I mean, we spend a lot of time tweaking the content and making micro quality updates based on user reports all the time. But it's common to want to hit the same concept again to practice it. And that's where I think we've failed. For example, say you're learning about functions in Python. You read the explanation, watch the video, and then you do the challenge and unfortunately get stuck while you're doing it. So maybe you chat with Boots and he nudges you along, helping you figure out where you went wrong. Great, you eventually solved it, but are you really ready to move on to the next concept? I mean, you got help with the functions challenge. So it would be nice if you could now do one or two more challenges on your own. The trouble is that was the only challenge for that lesson on boot dev. So now you've either got to reset the lesson, but that kind of sucks because you already know the answer to that one. Or you just kind of forge ahead, which will give you a new challenge, but also talks about another new concept. So it can feel like everything's moving really fast. Okay, so the answer is more practice problems, but that's easier said than done. We have over 2,500 handcrafted lessons and their associated challenges on boot dev right now. So to add just two optional challenges for every lesson would mean we'd have to write 5,000 more lessons. We'd have to triple the amount of content on the platform. And I mean, while doable, it's a lot. And the worst part is that most students wouldn't even take them because usually students only need one challenge for any given lesson. And when a student does run into a lesson that they do need extra practice on, they might need even more than just two practice lessons. Okay, so all this to say, today we launched the Training Grounds and it solves this problem. It's a little tab up at the top of the site that you can enter at any time, no matter where you're at in your coursework, and it will generate as many practice challenges as you want on demand. Now, of course, it is an AI thing, but it's really not just one shot slop. We've been building this for quite a while now. It works like this. When you ask for a challenge, the AI grabs all of your learning history because we have all of that saved on boot dev. What courses you've completed, what topics you've learned recently, what you've been personally struggling with, and even what you've learned way in the past that it might want to surface for review, a simple spaced repetition algorithm. And based on all that, it selects a topic, a difficulty, and a challenge type. Then it looks in our database for similar example challenges and generates a new personalized challenge for you on the fly. And you can generate new challenges over and over as many as you need before going back into your course and continuing where you left off. Now, do you occasionally get a really dumb AI slop challenge? Yes, but not very often. We've been working really hard to fine tune the system and the good news is there's a skip button and you can tell us and the AI why you're skipping a challenge so we can improve the system, but also so the system can see that note and generate fewer challenges like that for you on your next ones. And if you're looking for something specific, you can actually type into the custom prompt exactly what type of challenge you want to sort of override the algorithm and just practice what you want to practice. When you're done, you can also give the challenges a star rating. And again, we use that data to improve the future challenges. Now, the biggest drawback at the moment is that for this launch, we've been entirely focused on the quality of the generated challenges. So it's kind of slow. It takes about 45 seconds to generate a challenge. And really that's just a limitation of how quickly our backing LLMs, so GPT-5 and Claude Sonnet 4, can output tokens to write the challenges. The good news is we have some ideas for updates in the next couple of months that are gonna make it a lot faster. Things like reassigning already generated five-star challenges across students and pre-generating challenges in the background. So anyways, head over to boot.dev, make a free account and give it a shot. It's free to try for your first several challenges.